Hey, my name is Alex Mead. I'm a MFA student in uh, film and television production. Um, I'm originally from Paintsville, Kentucky. Uh, it's in eastern Kentucky. I now live in southeastern Kentucky in Campbellsville. Um, I now work for a small television station owned by Campbellsville University, uh, WLCU, as the programming and production director. Um, so any local programming that we have, uh, it falls under me. Um, and all the traffic that kind of comes through also falls under me as well. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, what excites me about, uh, sports stories? I think the thing that excites me the most is that, um, they can't be made up. Uh, you know, when you watch a movie, no matter what the movie is, you pretty much know what the ending's gonna be. He's gonna hit the shot, he's gonna have a last second touchdown, he's gonna hit a walk off, something like that. In real life, you, you don't know. You have no idea what's gonna happen you you were actually on your edge of the seat and you have some idea you know if, if the four hole hitter comes up then you then you know uh that you've got a good chance of maybe getting a home run uh to win the game but uh i think it's just the fact that you can't really make it up and you for sure don't know what's going to happen in the future um what i hope to learn from this course uh something that i can take away to better the our sports broadcast a lot of our one of the biggest things that falls under me is uh, sports broadcast, uh, live live sporting events, excuse me, and uh, we also have some coaches shows and stuff like that. And to hopefully make the live broadcast a little bit better, to be able to to be able to uh, explain the story, make the storylines a little bit better. Um, here recently, we've kind of come into some weird times at uh, during halftime where we have. A, few extra minutes to uh that we need to fill with commercials and so hope we're kind of hoping to figure out something and hopefully this class will teach me to that we can use one of the students one of the college athletes uh, on the football team use their stories uh to make like a two minute package or something like that that we can plug in uh during the halftime show and kind of tell a little bit of their story and really make a connection with the audience to uh to the players on the field um, favorite sport player or team is a tricky one. Uh, I love all, pretty much all sports for the most part. Uh, I played basically everything growing up. Um, I am, uh, I'm actually didn't even mean to do this, but, um, I swam, uh, in college. I'm, I'm now a, uh, a swim coach, uh, for a high school team and then also a club team, uh, which is why I'm sitting in my truck right now as I'm waiting for practice to start. Um, my favorite sports team will probably be the Oakland Raiders. I love the Raiders as much as I hate to admit that this year. Uh, uh, after going one and five so far, uh, it's not awesome. Uh, favorite player would probably be King Griffey, uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Um, I always grew up a Griffey fan. Uh, I always loved having uh, watching him play. I always played with such a passion. Or Brett Favre. Brett Favre is also probably he's my favorite football player for sure. Um, just because he played with such a passion and such a love for the game, even at uh, what, like 58 or whenever it was that he retired. Um, so, uh, I guess I covered pretty much about everything. Uh, look forward to, uh, this class getting started and, and get going. All right.